Hey guys, it's Steph here. So today I thought it might be fun to put together like a really cool blue or purpley shimmery eye look. Um, because I have this BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette that I picked up recently. And I love blue eyeshadows. Like blues and greens are probably my favorite. And with my blue eyes, I feel like a blue look could go pretty well. So this is uh, what the shades look like in the palette. There are quite a few, like a good mix of shimmers and mattes, um, and they're all kind of like in blue or purpley tones, and then up here we've got like a couple of like more burgundy type colors, but this is a really, really, really pretty palette, and I feel like you could do some really like glam sort of shimmery looks with this, and I really just wanted to play around with it today for fun because I haven't, um, I haven't used it yet, so... Let's go ahead and set this aside. I did swatch all these colors out so that you could see. I've got them here on my arms. So on this arm here, I've got the mattes and this arm has the sh shimmers. I'm particularly intrigued by this color here and this one here, these two shimmers. I don't know if I can use them together in the same look, but they are called Tempting and Yummy. And they are just so pretty. And actually this this yummy color almost strikes me as a bit of a duochrome because it's got kind of like a pink purple shift to it. So I really like that. And then I don't know that you can really tell this one up here, this sort of blue color or this black down here has some sparkle too. So, I mean, there are a lot of really pretty shimmers in here. It's gonna be really hard to decide sort of which direction I wanna go, which colors I wanna use today because this palette is really pretty. Um, and now this palette is available at Ulta. Um, I believe it was $18 for this. However, they do have a 20% off one item coupon on their website right now. And I believe you can use it in store too. So if you were to take advantage of that coupon, you could get this palette for under $15. And again, this is called the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. So if you love blues, this is the palette for you. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead, take a look at this palette, figure out which colors I want to use, and then we'll dive right into doing a look. So hang tight. All right, so I've taken a few seconds to look over this palette, and I think I've decided what direction I want to go. I may have to do an additional video um, later with another look to, um, just to see what I can do with maybe some of the purples. But I've decided I'm going to go more with the blue kind of teal colors. Um, so I'm going to be using probably about four or so, maybe five shades out of this palette total. Um, and the one that I'm going to start with right now is this uh, color here, Fluffy. It's kind of sort of, um, for me, it's like a skin tone color. Um, it's, it's sort of like a light peach, which matches my skin quite well. So I'm going to start with that as my transition shade, and I'm going to go in with this big fluffy um, Moda blending brush. One nice thing about this palette is that it does have a mirror which definitely is a plus with an eyeshadow palette. That is one thing that it's like if it comes with a good mirror for a couple extra dollars, it is quite helpful. This is quite a nice transition color for me. Um, a, good, a good shade to kind of blend from one to the other. And uh, I do already have my base done. Um, I've got my foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, highlighter, all that jazz on all ready for the day. Today I am wearing my um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Tinted Moisturizer because I wanted a little bit lighter coverage. Um, well, I wouldn't say lighter coverage, but like just not as heavy of a foundation, something that soaked in a little bit more. Um, I, uh, I can say that I really like the finish this gives my skin. It's much more natural, doesn't look cakey or like I actually have a ton of makeup on. The only complaint I have about this is that it doesn't really last as long as some of my good foundations. Um, and it tends to not hold up well if I'm wearing a mask a lot during the day. It doesn't hold up well to that um, moisture that gets built up underneath the mask. Um, it breaks apart pretty easily from that. So it's like on a day like today where I'm around the house mostly um, and I want just sort of like a lighter foundation that's got some good skincare in it. I do like this. And one thing that's great about this is it has 50 SPF built right into the makeup. So it's like um, you're getting that sun protection through your makeup as well. Okay, so now that I've got my transition color on in my crease, and I did blend that up a little bit toward my brow just to um, make sure that it can be seen over my hooded eyelids there. 
The next color I'm going to go into, I think, is going to be this color, this light blue Delish right here. And I'm going to put that in on sort of my lower crease. And this may end up being kind of a different eye look total, like overall. Um, probably something that's not going to be like a great everyday look, like a, not necessarily a going to work or um, going to the grocery store kind of look, but that's okay. This color is actually blending out. I mean, it went in kind of bright, but it blends out really nicely, so it's not quite a, a shocking of a blue color. Um, I like it. I, I'm actually quite a big fan of these BH Cosmetics palettes. I have several of them. I've got the um, Weekend Vibes Avocado Toast palette, which is all greens and purples. Like I mentioned before, greens and blues are my favorite. And then I've also got this other one. They have a, this line of of um, palettes that are all based on like different locations. They have like a Hawaii one. They have a Tokyo, Chicago. I picked up the Smitten in Switzerland palette, which is also a lot of like blues and uh, reds and stuff like that. And um, I just, I find that I like the BH Cosmetics formulas. They have nice mirrors in the palettes. You can get them at Ulta. Um, and they're kind of that one step between drugstore and high end. So they're really good quality, but they're a lot less expensive than a high end palette. So I've been really pleased with the ones that I've gotten so far. Um, so I'll definitely be keep this as a company I'll keep an eye on out an eye on for what they have coming out in the future because I will probably pick more palettes and things up. Okay, so now that I've got that kind of like just light blue in my crease, I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker blue here with that same brush. This is the Moda Detail brush. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker blue here called, what's, what's it called, So So Good? Yeah, So Good, right here. And I'm gonna use that to deepen up that sort of outer corner, that outer V. And then once I get that deepened up, I'll pull that up into the crease as well. Just once I get a little bit of this product off the brush and packed into that outer corner. And I'm, this is a really dark color, so I'm probably best to just go to this other side too and get a little more product off the brush. So like I said, I'm just putting, you know, building up that color in the corner. And then as I get that off the brush, I'm just dragging it lightly across the top of my eye into the crease. I'm gonna dip in a little bit more so I can darken up the other side so that they match. And again, just packing it into the corner and dragging it across the top to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use maybe two of the shimmers. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with this big fluffy brush and just blend all that out to make it a little bit more buffed and pretty. You know, this might end up being a really good eye look if you want to be Elsa for Halloween. Go for the nice blue sparkly eye look. Okay, so now I think on that outer sort of half of my lid, I'm going to use this color here I was really drawn to called um, Tempted. But I need like a shader brush. Where do I have a shader brush? My little shader brush is eluding me. It's hiding. Oh, there it is. I really like these Moda brushes. Which kind of these? Okay, so this one right here, Tempting, was that blue shimmer I had on my arm. So I'm going to use that on the outer, like, half of my eyelid. Um, this may do better with, a, with a, my finger. Actually, this goes on quite well with a brush. Um, it might pack on like a little bit more densely if you did it with a wet brush or with your finger. But I think for what I'm doing today, um, the brush is working just fine. Okay, so I got that on the outer corner there. I'm going to do this on the other side. This is such a pretty shimmer. I am in love with it. Okay, so now I got that on. I'm going to, again, go back in with this big fluffy one and just sort of buff it out. 
so that it all flows seamlessly together. I feel like I actually need to get this up here a little bit more because it's not matching. I really need these guys to match at least to the best of our ability. Okay, so I think now I'm going to use um, my finger to go into this color here called Cravings, and I'm going to do that sort of like on the inner portion of my eyelid. Ooh, that's pretty. Real pretty. It's like ice. And I'll probably have to go in like a little bit with a brush to get it all the way into the corner. That is absolutely gorgeous color. Wow, wow, wow. This is definitely not like a going to um, go into the office kind of look. Um, I'm going to need to take sort of a bigger fluffy brush here because I got a lot of glitter <laughs> all over my face from that. Wow. Okay, so now I'm going to grab like a little itty bitty concealer brush here and I'm going to go all the way into the corner of my eye to get that color in there completely because I made a huge mess of myself. Okay, so I think I'm going to bring this up just a touch so that it matches the other side. And then one more time going back in with this big fluffy brush to blend out the edges just to make sure that that sort of silvery color and the blue really um, kind of mesh together. Now, I've got a real mess of shadow on my face here. So I think I'm going to have to like sort of, you know what, I'm going to fix some things on the fly. That's the name of the game here. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use some of this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I'm just going to put like a little smidge of this on a concealer brush. And I'm going to just try to go back over that and try to cover up some of this mess here. And then I'll just take a sponge to it because um, there was a lot of fallout. This was definitely one where I probably would have been better served to have done my um, eye makeup first. That's for sure. Okay, so. And then after that, I'm just going to go. I have a brush here that I set my under eyes with with some powder. And I'm just going to go ahead and go back under there again. So there, now that's cleaned up a bit. Um, so now I'm going to do my inner corner. And I am going to go with this kind of really light shade called Sugared here. And I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. And I'm going to do my inner corner a little bit more. All right, and I'm going to pause you for just one moment. All right, sorry about that. I had to get a couple little girls on a Zoom meeting at the moment. So next thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of color underneath my, um, or on my lower lash line. And for that, I'm going to start with this um, light blue color here that I started with that was called Delish. And I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line. And I'm just going to try to, you know, keep that all connected all the way across. I really, really love these fun blue colors. Um, it's just not something that people wear a lot. And I really enjoy doing these fun looks. I think most people do. Um, you know, just for a little creativity and ability to experiment with different colors and stuff. Okay, now I'm going to take, um, I'm going to run that, this orange detail brush on my color switch just to kind of clean it off. And I'm going to use that to sort of like blend out this lower line here. Just buff it out a little bit so it's not quite so severe. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with the smudger brush with that darker color here called um, So Good. I'm going to put that just on the outer, like outermost corner here. 
and connect that into this outer corner here. And then I'm just uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this um, cravings color here that we have on the inner portion of the lid and I'm just gonna put that just like a little bit underneath here just for a little extra sparkle for fun. Okay, now we've got this fun blue eye look and I'm gonna take, once again, I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush. I'm going to run this on my color switch and I'm just gonna blend that lower lash line just a touch more, just along the edge to give it, just to make it a little bit more um, soft. Now, I do have glitter literally all over my face, but that's okay. There are worse things in the world than glitter on your face, right? Okay, so next up I'm going to put some liner in my lower lash line and I'm going to use this um, NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick and I'm using this in the color Turquoise Storm. And I'm just going to put that right in my waterline to put like just a little bit of extra color in there. And I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to skip liner on my top lashes and just do mascara. So hang on one moment for that. Okay, now for my mascara, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. With this mascara, I always curl my lashes first. Um, this is not like a curling formula mascara, so... I always have to use my lash curler prior to applying this type of mascara. But this is a really, really pretty, um, it just gives your lashes the prettiest, like, fanned out effect. I really, really enjoy it. It's a great drugstore product. And, uh, you know, so you can get it for under $10. It comes in, you know, sort of just the perfect blackest black color. And it really just gives your eyelashes, like, this really pretty sort of, wispy effect and I know I've talked about this mascara like a million times but it's got the coolest wand like I don't know it's it's very very uniquely shaped in comparison to most of the mascara wands that you see out there um and this is actually made from like it's one of those more plasticky type wands which I don't normally like with the exception of this one particular one. Normally I, I like a, a fluffier kind of like fiber type brush. These plastic ones I don't usually get the greatest um, results from, but this one seems to be incredibly effective. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lower lashes. And then should be good. Okay, so there's now with the lashes complete. And I am going to throw something on my lips too so that we actually have like a nice complete look here because that is the last thing I put some like hydrating gloss on prior to doing this video because I just wanted to condition my lips a little bit before it was done for the end of the day. So what I'm going to use um, for my lips is this Bobbi Brown Art Stick in the color Bear. I have become a huge fan of this particular product. Um, I like that it lines and fills. And it's a really gorgeous creamy formula and just absolutely like the perfect nude shade. I'm a big, big fan of this particular lip product. So there is the completed look with my blueberry muffin palette. I'll close my eyes a moment so you can kind of see. So it's a very glittery, shimmery look. Not an everyday, more glamorous, I guess, but really pretty nonetheless. Again, I love blue shadows, so I'm really, really pleased with this one, and I'm excited to do another look with the more purple shadows another time. So if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, with this palette, please go ahead. I would love if you would consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And next to that is a little bell. If you click that bell, you will be notified every time I upload new content. And uh, keep an eye out for future videos. I've got a couple Halloween palettes on their way. We'll do a couple looks with those. I've got future Ipsy and um, 
boxy turn boxes coming that we'll go head to head on and of course more product reviews and makeup looks along the way so thanks again you guys have a great day if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and throw me a comment and we'll see you soon bye